Welcome, my name is Christy Trammell with the Three Rivers Area Chamber of Commerce. I'm here with Melissa Bliss today, who is running as a candidate for the Three Rivers Community Schools Board of Education. Melissa, I have a couple of questions here for you today. We're gonna to start off with, please tell me about yourself and why you're interested in serving on the Board of Education and what experiences or skills do you have that would enhance the board? Well, thank you, Christy, and thanks for inviting me to participate. Um, as you'd already mentioned, my name is Melissa Bliss. I'm currently the city clerk for the city of Three Rivers. I'm also the part-time executive director for the Three Rivers Area Community Foundation. Um, I've lived in Three Rivers since 2008 when our family moved here from Cass City. Originally grew up outside of Grand Rapids in the small town of Saranac. Um, ended up getting my a high school school diploma there and then moved on to Central Michigan University where I earned my bachelor's degree. Um, my husband, he works for Walther Farms. He's been there for over 12 years and we have two kids, Leah and Ethan. Leah's 21 and has her career. She's a stylist uh, full-time at a salon up in Portage. And then our son, Ethan, is a senior at Three Rivers High School, um, active in sports. So a lot of times you'll find us at different sporting events. Um, and then he also works locally at Big B in town. So. Um, and I believe your next question was why I'm interested in serving on the Three Rivers School Board. Um, really, I just have a passion for serving. Um, it's something that I feel is important for us to continually investing in the community that we live in. Um, I think it's important to have individuals in decision-making processes that are invested. Um, I bring to the table a little bit of experience working with different boards and committees. Uh, my, my professional background has provided me with opportunities to work with some really great leaders, um, to see different and effective um, decision-making make, processes that, that have been used, things that haven't been so great, I've also learned as well. Um, hopefully I can bring that to the table. Um, I feel connected to the community, so I feel like that also plays um, a big role in the different aspects that I bring to the table, relationship-wise, um, experience-wise, knowing how to work with different projects and also to be able to work with people of different viewpoints. How do you propose to help the district balance its budget? Yeah, so that's a great question. Um, I think it's really important as, uh, you know, being fiscally responsible with public funds. Um, I think that's a question that's best answered as a board decision. Um, I believe that you know it's a board decision and I don't have the knowledge or the experience to be able to probably answer that as effectively on my own, but I am willing to learn. Um, I think I definitely wanna become more familiar with the budget if elected. Um, I think that there are probably individuals on the board with some financial background information. I'm always willing to listen to others' input to find out if there are other creative solutions as well. But I think a balanced budget is, um, is important to be able to align the spending with what the board currently has set with their strategic plan. What is your first priority if elected to the school board? Uh, well, I think my first priority would be to learn and to listen. Um, I, as I mentioned, I don't have a background in education. Um, I do feel like it's important to gain some knowledge. I would definitely reach out to current board members, past board members, um, attend the different trainings that are required and that are necessary in order to equip me with the tools that I need in order to be an effective board member. Okay. What do you believe is a board member's role in governing the district? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I think that it's pretty clear that the role of the board um, really is defined in a few key areas. It's really to you know, set the, the vision, the goals through the strategic plan. Um, I think that the responsibility of the board is also to set policies that are gonna help to improve the work of the district, to evaluate and hire the superintendent, and then obviously to oversee the budget, as I mentioned before, as it aligns with the district's vision. Melissa, as a school board member, you will make decisions that directly impact the budget. How will you evaluate which areas are most important? Yeah, again, I guess I would lean back on the wisdom and some of the knowledge and information that comes from um, my fellow board members and how that really aligns with the strategic plan and some of the goals that they've set and priorities. 
If elected, how do you plan how do you plan to further your education as a board member? Yeah, I think it's really important for us to continue professional development. Um, the nice thing about um, being in the phase that I am in my life with my kids, I have a little bit more time to dedicate to the personal things that I want to be involved in. Um, and obviously, this is a personal choice to run for a seat on the school board. Um, so I think it's really important that we continue that professional development to uh, train and obtain the certifications um, that are needed and necessary. I enjoy learning from others, but I think it's, um, I think it's just one of those tools that we need um, in order to continue to further ourselves and really to be able to promote and, um, you know, and just really better the, the, the district. I mean, I think the overall goal is to see the district succeed and Obviously, I want to. I'm heavily invested in Three Rivers, and I just want to see us continue to attract and retain the families in our district. What is the district Hi. most successful at, and how do you intend to maintain that? I think, from a parent's perspective, what I can bring to that is um, is really to look at all the different opportunities that the district offers for our children. When I look throughout the county. Um, it's just really apparent to me that Three Rivers has done a very good job at offering many opportunities. I, my son started um, at Andrews as a kindergartner. My daughter started when she was, uh, I believe, going into fourth grade. And just to see the different opportunities that they've had at a young age and how they were able to um, even increase their learning at a middle school age to some of the advanced classes that they may not have had the opportunities to really set them up to be successful as high schoolers. And to me, that's really important. Um, both of my kids have taken advantage of the opportunities for dual enrollment. Um, my son is uh, currently involved in the CTE program. I think our district does a great job of working with the different business community leaders and to see how those partnerships really play and those opportunities that they're able to offer. And so continuing to support that, um, just to be able to see this, those successes along the way, I think are really attractive. Um, and as a parent, I just think that Three Rivers does a really great job at that. What is the district lacking and how do you intend to improve that? Yeah, so really I think I take some responsibility in, um, in me kind of identifying, I, I think that what I'd like to see, maybe some better communication. Um, I think that the district does a great job at uh, informing us of, um, you know, different happenings as we have students at the schools, but sometimes we don't, if you don't have a child in the school district, I still want to feel connected and I'm not sure um, how we would do that. So part of that responsibility is of our own. If we don't have children in the school, you know, are we making an effort um, to attend different board meetings, to get involved in the education system, even if I don't have a child that's currently in the system. Um, but I think as a community member, and as obviously as a leader in the community, um, I think that there could be some improved communication amongst the rest of the, um, the community members here. And so that's just one thing I think I would be interested in, um, seeing how we can become effective communicators and relationship builders with those different partnerships and obviously the residents here. Melissa, thank you very much for your time today. Um, best of wishes with your candidacy. Thank you, Christine.